start at the anode. Electrons are lost there and go through the wire and through the load on fire. They enter the cathode and reduce the cations. And the anions go through the salt bridge back to where? Where? Where have you guys been? You're late? Are you even prepared for today's lab? We're not prepared for today's lab at all. What about the safety rules? Oh, the pre-lab. Oh, jeez. Should have done that. Yeah. Okay, so the, the lab is saying to uh, add uh, NOH to HCl. So you should get to go ahead and do that. Don't tell me what to do. Ah! <sighs> Spilled acid on me yesterday. Burned straight through my ACL and I now I'm in this cast. That, that goes to show we shouldn't horseplay anymore in the lab, and we should definitely follow the procedure. Let's All right. start the titration. Okay, this says we need three milliliters of this. Whoa, ho, ho! What's going on? What? We're just doing a titration, There's, Doc. You guys are doing something wrong, right off the bat. What? what are we Take doing? a look at how you dress. I think uh, I look pretty nice today. Yeah. yeah. You do actually look pretty nice today. But that's not the problem. <laughs> what? There's some things that you're supposed to be wearing that you're not. Oh, lab aprons. Tell me what you're supposed to be wearing or I'm going to take a lot of points off of this lab. Okay. Um, clothing should be appropriate. Um, jackets, ties, and other loose garments should be removed. Okay. Uh, long um, hair should be tied back or covered. Necklace. Ooh, necklaces, dangling removed. jewelry should be away. Uh, My hair should probably be up. Yes. And Sounds good to me. I don't think I want to get any acid on this. No, I don't think you do. So what could you wear for that? Aprons. Lab aprons. There you go. And what else? Uh, There's one more thing that you should be wearing. Goggles. Goggles. There you go. Go back. I think gloves, right? Gloves would be a good idea. Alright. Now we're ready. Before we do anything stupid, where's the safety things? The fire blanket. The fire extinguisher. The eye wash. And the safety shower. Carefully pour those chemicals in there. We need five milliliters. Oh, oh. Oh, we gotta off. clean up that spill. I've got the paper towels. Guys, the period's almost over. The period's almost over. Oh no. Doc! <laughs> Wait. Doc told us to throw this out in the trash can because it's safe. Right? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Alright, let's do it. This goes in the sink, I think. That's what the directions say. Add 50 milliliters of 0 0.1 molar nitric acid to a beaker. Got it. Can you check the label or? Uh, whoops, not it. Okay. Yeah, bad right. idea. Put that back. Nitric acid. Okay, I got it. Nitric acid. Okay, we need to mix these. Which one's the acid and which one's the water? Acid? Water. Okay. Uh, just hold it out uh, away from your body when you pour it. Just Wait, wait, what are you doing? Wait, don't add that. No! Okay, never, never add water to acid. Never. Okay, we gotta put this back now. Kinda gotta cover our tracks. Okay. So yeah, here's we'll the bottle. This Let's add this else. back. Put the acid back in the bottle. Wait, wait, you can't, you can't do that. What are you doing? You can't do that. You never return unused reagent to the bottle. Don't do that. Unless Doc says it's okay, then we can do that. No! Never touch any chemicals unless instructed to do so. Look, there's some formation of gas. You're supposed to smell it. No! You're supposed to waft! <laughs> Since this is a poisonous chemical, I should be wafting it in the fume hood. <laughs> oh, rough night. <laughs> Now we'll put the potassium hydroxide into this hot 
Oh, what are you doing? That's a caustic base. Be careful oh. with that. Thanks for telling me that now. That helps. Oh, uh, what should we do? I don't know. Maybe you should call the nurse? Alright, that's a good idea. Hello, nurse. My friend has swallowed potassium hydroxide. He has it's a dangerous chemical. You know what, Brian? It's a good thing you spat out the chemicals, because it's very dangerous to swallow chemicals. You know what, Tony? It's a good thing you told me that beforehand. Oh, God! No! 15 minutes! 15! <laughs> Maybe you should wear your goggles next time. That would be a good idea. No, 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 don't do that. You never put something from a hot plate directly on the table. See, look what you did, I made a mark. And besides, you should never touch hot glass right away. You should let it have time to cool first. Uh-oh, I accidentally broke a glass. What should I do, throw it out? No, sweep it up in the dustbin. Okay. Oh, I can't get this off! Whoa, hold on there, don't force it, you're gonna break it. Shock. You would have had to lie down and lift your feet about 30 centimeters in the air to like circulate blood flow back into your head. Good thing that didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor, um, if your hair catches on fire, don't run around like last time. Go get a fire blanket or stand under the shower. Okay, so we should probably be doing this in the fume hood, but if anything starts to smoke, we have to turn off the gas and get out of here and let the nurse know because we might have inhaled something. Alright, so it says here we need to light the gas burner. Alright. Wait, Dan! You have to keep your head and clothing away from the flames. Oh, that was a good, that's a good idea. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna light this. Alright, go for it. I think that's all we need to do for now. Alright, that's it, let's go. Let's go take a break. We can't ever leave the burner unattended. Oh my god, how can we do that? So, uh, let's see if there's any gas formation or anything. Can you, can you see anything? I can't really see it from here. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Never, never look into the test tube. It could spray in your face. Come on. I'm sorry. Safety 101. Alright, I've, I've just about had it with this, this procedure. Ridiculous. We start at the anode. Electrons are lost there. And the anions go to the salt bridge back to where? Where? We start at the anode. Electrons are lost there. And go through the wire. And through the load on fire. They enter the cathode. And reduce the cations. And the anions go to the salt bridge back to where? Where? 